Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Jeff Raccoon 47 here to show you a little, another one of my interesting knives. Well, this is a small version of what's called a Karambit. Now, the Karambit was a knife that originated in the Philippines. I got to make a little handle for this one. Maybe out of wood or some other material. Maybe just wrap it in some leather or something. But, however, this is a Karambit. As you can see, this one doesn't have an edge on the end, or normal ones do, but I can get someone to put one on there. But it has an edge on the outer outer part of it. But what way you would hold it is you'd hold it like this. And so you'll notice it looks kind of like a, a raptor claw. Well, the curing bit originated in, if I'm not mistaken, originated in the Philippines. This is one of the favorite knives of martial artists and blades instructor. See what's it, his name? D Doug Markita. Nah, <laughs> he had a little brain fart there. So if you ever see the TV show on the History Channel, Forged in Fire, he's one of the knife experts on the sh knife and sword experts on the show. Is Doug Markita, and he. Recommends this type of knife as a self-defense knife. They come with different handles, different shapes of handles, but the the blade on a the blade on the here bit is almost curved, kind of like a raptor's claw. Normal ones are double-edged. This one isn't because it's just a display model. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna have to make a handle for this one. But um, so you would hold it, you'd hold it in your like this. You could come in there, disembowel a, uh, an enemy with that. Being that still normal ones are double edged, you, you come through like that, that, like that. I don't know, we need to get, maybe get Sam Neill to, to narrate me and use him on. Because <laughs> you go, you generally you go for. It's generally a defensive weapon as opposed to an offensive weapon. Oh, well, you can use it as an offensive weapon, but but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend if you're going to use a knife as a weapon, I'd I'd, uh, I'd suggest using the a tanto or a Bowie knife. This is just mainly lashing out in self-defense right here. Well, I just thought you might uh, enjoy seeing a Karen bit. And I'll let you go, and you have a nice day.